As a lawyer, particularly while addressing individuals who are charged with the responsibility of maintaining law and order in a country, I have no choice but to be cognizant of the international principle of non-intervention in the affairs of another state. As a politician and as Prime Minister of a Caribbean country, I also have no choice in the interest of enhancing regional integration, but to juxtapose that principle against doing anything I can to bring our peoples closer together in this region. Not just on paper and treaties and agreements, but in real, practical, everyday terms. And of course, as Prime Minister, who has just attended the 33rd Intercessional Conference of CARICOM leaders in San Pedro, and who experienced the genuine warmth and undiluted hospitality of the government and people of Belize, it is impossible to say no to an opportunity to extend greetings to the women of the Belize Police Service. This month, you celebrate the achievements of women, and today, March 25th, you observe a day of rest and relaxation, no doubt well-earned in a profession that across the globe is still very much male-dominated, and not just in terms of numbers. As a woman who understands firsthand the struggle we have endured for centuries and who laments the fact that despite the gains for too many of us, the fight is still a daily occurrence, I salute you. Do not give up. Represent your cause, defend your honor, and continue to execute your duties with the professionalism and the dignity that will lighten the load for those who follow you into this profession. Personally, I extend sincere thanks to your colleague, Sergeant Lisa Jones, whose conduct as my close protection officer during the CARICOM conference was exemplary. If her performance is representative of the women of the Belize Police Service, then, my friends, your future is indeed bright. Woman to woman, enjoy a well-deserved day of rest and relaxation, for tomorrow we all know the battle will continue. Blessings to you all.